Hey guys, Terry here. I wanted to give you a tour of my craft room and I thought I would start from the outside of the house. We moved in about a year and a half ago and we just love this. It's, it's a very modern style of a house. It looks like a cabin and it's called uh, uh, post and beam which means it's, well, I'll show you on the inside the post and beams, but um, we just love it. What I'm showing here is the front of the house. It's got the two car garage and then it's got the uh, deck uh, that wraps around the house. We love that part. The dogs love laying out there. So let me take you inside. It's the time of year where the squirrels are all um, hoarding the nuts and stuff. So up here there is stuff just dropping every minute of the day. We sleep, sweep the uh, deck and every day we come outside and there's this. Oh, some just fell on me. So that's the downstairs door. And let me take you um, up here. The houses are just beautiful here. It's set in the trees. I don't know if you guys can hear the, the nuts falling. I don't know what the squirrels are doing up there. <laughs> there is just stuff that they are... Apparently they break into the nuts and um, store the meat of the nut. So, yeah, this is the neighborhood. And welcome inside. Hey, Gingy. This is the living room. We've got a fireplace. Hi, Hershey. The dining room over there. There's the porch outside and the kitchen. And then let me take you upstairs to the craft room. This is where I store my scrapbooks and cards that I've made. Stampin' Up Stamps. There's a little bit more of the outside. The uh, bedroom is on the top floor here. We're going to take that uh, soaker tub out. And there's all my plants. And there's a little, little porch up here. The outside is just beautiful. It's set in the trees. We love it here. And the craft room is over here. Okay, I'll quickly scan the room. This is IKEA Calyx units. I lo love them on their side because I can store so much on them. Sewing area. I don't have a lot of wall space here. It's all wide open to the downstairs. Um, but the one wall that I have there, I've got my um, paper and stamp sets in there. Beautiful windows to the outside. Desk area and a couple of Razcogs. Uh, the one Razcog has mostly sewing and the other one has mostly uh, scrapbooking supplies. This little wall over here has a holder I can show my cards. I don't know if that light helps. I've got cards in there and my inks um, on the wall. And then I've got my large desk here that I mostly do my stuff on the computer and my desk and then I've got my beautiful wall there of all different colors so love that uh, inspiration there and then I have one more little calyx unit that's on casters I can wheel that around but yeah that is the craft area 
Now I'll go into a little bit more specifics. Okay, so like I said, I like the calyx units being on their side because you can store a lot on top. Um, I have a lot of stuff in these bins. I like to store stuff in the bins so it's a little less cluttered looking. Um, in here I have scrapbooking kits. I have a bucket full of Cricut stuff here. So I've got vinyl and then my various different... Um, oh, what else is it? The vinyl and the iron-on. That's all in here by different colors. I like it because I could, I've got the lid on the bottom and it kind of makes for a nice little pull out. Um, a lot of junk in there. Um, I've got my stickers stored like this. These hanging folders fit in these bins really well. These bins are for my Kia. Um, envelopes and various cards stuff in there. Um, I like that it's tucked away. <laughs> Looks cleaner. And then over here, I've got my um, dies and Big Shot. Um, I store my um, just kind of these tall things. This doesn't fit in the die storage box here that I have. So just kind of stuff that I can flip through. I can see everything and get to it. Um, I've got the extra um, Big Shot boards back here. Um, that's just a tall fridge container that I've got all that stuff standing in. I like it that way. These are, um, this is a box that I have my dies stored in. This is some photos that I'm about to scrapbook. Um, here's the die cutting machine. So it's the big, um, big shot plus. Um, so I like it out on the counter. It's easy to use that way. Um, this is a mishmash of products here. I find that they're on the display. I use them. They're very inviting. So that stand holds a lot. I think I got this on Amazon. It's a nice metal, um, metal stand. And then this one is just another little plastic tray. Again, stuff that you can stand up and flip through everything and see it. Works well. More markers. Jelly Bean. I love the Jelly Bean Pea Pods. So I've got those. Uh, Steve's grandparents' old typewriter. And then I've got my sewing machine. It's a Geno Genome. How do you say it? And I can do a link to that video. Um, also love the sewing table. I've got a link to that sewing table also. And my old Singer sewing machine down there. And I talked a little bit about the RASCOG, how it holds all just kind of current supplies. I've got my Cricut Easy Press in there and my iron. Watercolor supplies down there at the bottom. And then I've got my paper organized by theme. That's printed paper. I've got my sewing stuff. Patterns are stored in these cute little Joanne um, Singer sewing kits. Love those. A um, little drawer for all the thread and everything, and sewing tools, pins, scissors, bobbins, um, solid cardstock, and then my stamp boxes. I've got them labeled by theme, so I can kind of pull that whole box down and find the stamp set I'm looking for. And then another RASCOG. This is kind of just current stamps that I'm playing with and tools and then I've got my desk here in front of the windows I just love the view um, I've got some stuff out I want to make a video about stuff that I just got from Stampin' Up um, this is a Tim Holtz glass mat I like it it protects the surface of the desk and then I've got my this is for my uh, brother scan and cut it's the wheelie tote, so I use that when I go places. And then I've got ink storage there. I love this. I've done a video. I'll link to some of these videos. This little plastic case that I got. It's nicely made and it stores the um, 
Ranger Distress Oxides. And then I keep the, um, the little pink blender pad uh, Velcro to the bottom of them. Um, box from Cherry Box. Um, I think that was the summer set, and I'm making a little book out of stuff in there. Another look at the little card holder. I think I got that from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. So cute. Um, this tray I got from Hobby Lobby too. It's like a little, um, it's a tray and I turned it on the side and hung it on the wall. And then um, I have this long desk from Ikea and I really like it because um, I can have both my Cricut and my brother scan and cut out and have plenty of room to work on them. Um, I also use the software on the computer to talk to both of those. So, love that. And then I love these um, IKEA Alex drawers. This one's nice because it's got the long bin for file folders. I have that for all my office paper stuff. And then, what else to show you? I mean, everything in these Alex drawers are nice because it's stuff that I use. I can pull this drawer open and use all the embossing stuff. Misty and all the stamping supplies. Um, various different inks and, you know, mixed media stuff. And then I've got some punches. I've really limited my punches whittled it down to shapes that I use. Um, otherwise I cut stuff on the Brother and Cricut. I got my printer. This is a little, um, oh, I actually have it up here. This is the Canon Selfie on a printer tray, but I normally keep it in that drawer there. I was using it. And then I have my glues and also, um, the foam squares and stapler and velcro and stuff like that so the glues are all handy right here but yeah the room the room works well I've got kind of a table for each thing that I do this um, one here is this shelf here is handy because I use it all the time I can wheel this around and um, use this whether I'm ironing or cutting something or uh, get the paper cutter out. Um, I kind of keep stuff stored away back here, but um, yeah, I'm trying to think what, I mean, if you guys have questions, put it down in the comments and I'll try to answer questions on how I store things. I do try to give handy tips on how to, you know, how to keep your stuff put away, but also have easy access to it so that you're encouraged to, to use it and play with the stuff that you get. So I'll have links down below and I will have a link to my website and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks guys.